Alright, welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today guys, I just want to discuss the name number two and how it's going to relate to you. I have the AC on in the back. I'm in another house today, so don't mind me, okay guys? Sorry about the background noise. So name number two discusses the elements of the moon as we discussed in other videos. This name number is very, very special as it has a very uh, volatile set of temperaments. If you have a name number of two, that means either your first, middle, and last name add up to a number that's sequential to two, or your short name, or the name that you go by the most, vibrates at the number two. So, as I said in the other video, you can do by Western or Eastern numerology, meaning if you use the Eastern side, where you used to use the name that you most go by, the Western, you can go on any site like Numerology Works, and you can actually find um, the calculator for it. So you can actually put your first, middle, and last name and calculate it. If you don't want to do all that, leave the comment for me and I'll do it for you. It's not a problem. All right? So let's get right into it. If you have a name number of two, your expression number adds to two, what you have to be aware of is that you have a very volatile temperament. Meaning, you're somebody that will go from being mad, mad, mad to just super happy in the blink of an eye. And nobody will know why. And even you won't know why. That's the thing. It's funny like that. But the thing about it is that because it's the moon, it's a very watery planet. Well, star. As you can see, the moon's in the back actually as well, so that's actually perfect for this video. But that's what the moon is like. It has a very odd temperament that it gives people, and it makes you very, um, it gives you waves of motion similar to the water. If you can learn to control your emotions, that's the key to mastering your number. If you have the name number of two in any sort of way, whether it's 2, 11, 20, 29, 38, what have you, you are going to have a lot of different traits. I'm going to go over how you're going to have different traits now in, in regards to like if you have a 2 or an 11 or a 20 or a 29. All right. So to start off with the 2 itself, highly volatile nature, very bad temperament. Um, if you're a male, you may try to look like hard, like a criminal. If you're a female, you may just be one of those people that unfortunately try to play the victim at times when you're not. Um, it's just very overly emotional. If you learn to control these emotions, you've mastered the two, everything is completely fine from there. For the name anyways. If the life path, please go back to my other video and look at that. If you have the 11, very, 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 very important. The symbol of the 11 is like a lion muzzled, meaning, and it's by a woman. So it means all that temper, all that anger, all those emotions is like a lion. Meaning, because you have two ones, that's the one, the video we just discussed yesterday discusses the one and the sun. You have two of those and then it adds to number two. So if you have that, that just simply means, okay, you have the temperament, but you also have the one's leadership skills, double. So with that compound number, I want you guys, if you have a name number of 11, to go to my Life Path 11 video or my Numerology 11 video, which was earlier a month or two ago, and look at those and you'll see how to master the 11th energy because that's a very different energy even in comparison to the number two. All right? We've discussed number two already. I mean, the next one is 20. The 20 is just the two with the zero beside it. As I said with number 10 in the one video, that just simply means you're gonna have a very, very intense nature because now you're gonna have all the two's traits except amplified because of the zero element within it. The last one is the number 29. These are two enemy numbers that are amicable to each other. Two is moon, nine is Mars. That adds to 11, which is the sun. And then you get that finally to the two again. So that's quite a mixture there. These people, if you have a name number of 29, you need to make sure you watch who you hang out with because you are very um, impressionable by the people that you hang out with. If you hang out with bad people, you will be bad. If you hang out with good people, you will be good. So I recommend you choose your friends very wisely if you're a 29. And also, you will be very good in business. I do not recommend you work for anybody. Do your own business because you will make a killing because of the 9 that has the very daring personality trait alongside the power of the 11 that's within the 29. All right, so that's going to be a very fiery, fiery name. 38 is also very special, but it's very rare that somebody has a name number of 38. If you happen to have that, um, send me an email, and I'll give you a full description of that one, just because that gets into Jupiter and Saturn as well. And that's a whole different ballpark altogether. It has the two's vibration, but it's more so affected by the three and the eight. All right, so I hope you guys did really enjoy the video. This is just a short synopsis of the two. Um, I know I've discussed these numbers already in prior videos regarding life path and just the general number symbolism, but I will be doing more videos going forward, um, just discussing personality, soul numbers, etc. as well, and even your birthday. So definitely look out for that. But if you have any questions regarding the two at all that you need me to answer in particular, leave it in the comments or email me at shemsuniverse at hotmail.com, okay? Thank you guys very much for watching today. Like, subscribe, holla at me. See you tomorrow.